Hello everyone. In the last two presentations, we have seen US FDA guidance on pharmaceutical quality system and ICHQ-10 guidance on the same. Now it's time to evaluate our knowledge onto those two guidances. So we take a quiz. There are 10 questions in this quiz, five on each of the guidances. If we are able to answer all the questions correctly, we are thorough on our knowledge with the two guidances. Else, it is time that we revise those guidances and make our knowledge thorough. Before moving ahead, please note that we have planned to come up with different presentations on topics like data integrity guidances, OS guidance, guidances on cleaning validation, onto the continued process verification, quality risk assessment, and many more. So you're requested to kindly subscribe to the channel that is Prof Talks and press the bell icon so that you can receive the notification whenever new presentations on these topics are uploaded. Now, let us begin with our quiz. The first question, when were the US FDA guidance and ICHQ-10 guidance published respectively? Options are April 2009 for US FDA guidance and September 2006 for ICH. September 2006 for US FDA, April 2009 for ICH. Jan 2013 for US FDA and June 2006 for ICH. And the last option is June 2006 for US FDA and Jan 2013 for ICH. So these are the four options. If you know the answer, kindly type it into the comment box. Else, if you are not aware, here's a hint for you. The timeline when they were published is mentioned into each of the respective presentation. The link of the presentation is provided in the description box. Next question. As per US FDA guidance on the pharmaceutical quality system, modern quality system is inclusive of. The options are. The modern quality system includes only the quality control aspect. It includes quality assurance and quality control. It includes quality management and quality risk management. And the fourth option is it includes both B and C. That is quality assurance and quality control, quality management and quality risk management. So if you know the answer, please provide it else you can go to the US FDA guidance presentation and specifically find the answer at 1.27 minutes of this presentation. The next question, the four major factors on pharmaceutical quality system model as per US FDA guidances are, here are the four options, management responsibilities, quality assurance, quality control and quality risk management, management responsibilities, CGMP compliance, appropriate testing and release. The third is management responsibilities, resources, manufacturing operations and evaluation of activities. And fourth, management responsibilities, management review, continual improvement and QBD. If you are unable to determine the answer, you can find it at six, around six minutes into the presentation of US FDA guidance. Fourth question, US FDA guidance management responsibilities include first that is providing leadership, second is structuring the organization, third you'll have to determine from the given option, fourth is establishing policies, objectives and plans and fifth is reviewing the system. So the fourth option are build the quality system to meet the requirements management of quality function, implementing quality risk management, implementing deviation investigation mechanism. If you are unable to find the answer, you will find it at around 6.40 minutes in the presentation of US FDA guidance. We move ahead with the fifth question. As per US FDA guidance, assessing suitability of incoming materials, components, containers, closures, labeling in process material and finished product is the responsibility of quality assurance, quality control, manufacturing team and quality risk team. So if you know the answer, you can type it into the comment box else you can go at 4.10 minutes of the US FDA guidance presentation to find 
and revise the aspect. Now we move with the questions of ICHQ10. First question is ICHQ10 guidance is based on which ISO guidance? ISO 3001-2018, ISO 9000-2015, ISO 21500-2012 and ISO 37500-2014. You can find the answer at around 2 minutes in the presentation of the ICHQ10 presentation. The link of all the both the presentation has been provided in the description box. Question number 7. The objective of ICHQ10 guidance include first is to achieve product realization second you have to find out and third is facilitate continual improvement options for finding the second uh, response objective is establishing and maintaining a state of control control over the outsourced activities establishing internal communication and escalation of quality issues Hint is that you can find the aspect at around 6 minutes in the presentation of ICHQ10. Eighth question is, which management responsibility defined by ICHQ10 is not covered in US FDA guidance on quality system? The four option includes management review, internal communication, change in product ownership and control of outsourced activities. You can find the answer at 9.30 minutes in the presentation on ICHQ10. Question number 9. Two important enablers defined by ICHQ10 model are quality risk management and deviation, kappa and change controls, knowledge management and quality risk management, management review and continual improvement. The answer to this question is available at 6.50 minutes in the presentation on ICHQ10. The last question, four elements defined by ICHQ10 model are process performance and product quality review. Second is the fill in the blanks you have to find, change management and management review. Options for finding the second uh, responsibility that is deviation management, corrective and preventive action, OS investigation and market complaints. You can find it around 15.20 minutes in the presentation of ICHQ10. With these 10 questions, we have provided a gist of all both the guidances. If you are thorough with the guidances, you will be easily able to find the answers and have a satisfaction of knowing the two guidances well. But you should not be disheartened if you don't know the answers or not well aware of it. You can all the time go back, have a revision and then gain that confidence. Right. So it is all in today's presentation. Thank you for spending time. Kindly subscribe to the channel for more informative videos.